I was very, very lucky because in fourth grade, which for me would have been, so I've been it would have been about 1974, um, uh, I, I had access to a mainframe computer. There were no personal computers in 1974. And there was a company uh, in Houston that had loaned excess mainframe computer time to this little elementary school. And we had a teletype that was connected by an old you know, acoustic modem. You literally dialed a regular phone and picked up the handset and put it in this little cradle. And, and, um, uh, and you know, n nobody, none of the teachers knew how to operate this computer. Nobody did, but there was a stack of manuals. And me and a couple of other kids stayed after class and learned how to program this thing. And it, that worked well for maybe about a week. And then we learned that the mainframe programmers in some central location somewhere in Houston had already programmed this computer to play Star Trek. And from that day forward, all we did was play Star Trek. And that's actually something I should have mentioned. But I used a large portion of my elementary school uh, uh, free time hours not only watching Star Trek, <laughs> <laughs> the original, of course, um, but also playing Star Trek. And everybody wanted to be, the num all of my friends, the num we all wanted to be Spock. And if you couldn't be Spock, then you would be Captain Kirk. And if you couldn't be Captain Kirk, then it started to separate. People wanted to be different. Some people wanted to be Bones. I never wanted to be Bones. I, I would take as my third choice. If I couldn't get Spock or Kirk, I would take the computer. <laughs> you say, somebody would ask, the computer was fun to play because people would ask you questions and you know, they'd say computer and you'd say working. <laughs>